So welcome back. I know it's been a while, guys, uh, for our G&T show. Uh, and you'll notice that we're in a different venue today. And you'll notice that we... No fireplace. There's no fireplace and there's no, <laughs> there's no gin and tonics. There's no, no, no tonic or gin. So, so we thought, how can we, how can we set off this? Because uh, it has been a while, but how can we set this off? Uh, a G&T show again without any tonics and we thought of course well the tonic is the sunshine <laughs> of course rare in Britain but yeah hopefully welcome back to, uh, to a nice bit of warmth so it's good to be back it's good so today's topic um, is uh, what I call MSOF so I've had a lot of questions around this uh, people firing in questions on social media and via email and so on around about how do we uh, how do we assess a, a business when we're thinking about buying it what do we look for aside from from the numbers and i came up with this mnemonic uh, a while ago uh, i call it msof and the more i thought about it the more every business on the planet effectively follows this standard model so every business if it's working efficiently and effectively should be working through a, a process of marketing so that's the m and that's really uh, the branding, the positioning, who the company is, what their place in their market is all about. But it's also lead generation. That's what marketing, good marketing function should do. So marketing will create the leads and the opportunities. Then S stands for sales. So it's the sales process, sales department, sales mechanisms, if you like. How do you take a lead? How do you uh, take someone that's, that's become interested in a business or the service or the product that's, been, that's on offer and turn that into a sale? And of course, once you've got the sale, you've then got to turn the sale into the thing, the product, the service that's then going to be produced. Yeah. Uh, and that's the O bit, that's operations, that's the delivery of the thing or the service. And operations, of course, create value. So value then translate into F, which is the finance bit. So it's the finance function of the business. That's the bit that's going to turn the whole of the other three processes into money in a bank. And then essentially just rinse and repeat. So if you think of any business as MSOF, marketing, sales, ops and finance. And then when you assess the business and you look at it, you think, right, where is it strong and where is it weak? So in the early days of our buying companies, I remember vividly talking about, oh, the website and this company we've bought is, is <laughs> yeah, rubbish. Yeah. And Terry said to me, forget about it. And I was like, what? But it's embarrassing. It's terrible. And I was like, and he's like, now forget about yeah, it. At the, like, at, the, hey? at the time we had five million pounds worth of business in the order book already already done and I'm like yeah. we're not focusing on that no no and, and what was apparent <laughs> quite quickly was operationally that was everything about the business so we didn't need to worry about what the website looked like to that point that the process of generating leads wasn't really a marketing function I won't go into the ins and outs of it now but yeah. but it illustrated the point I've made which is if you really understand MSOF and spend some time thinking about those key functions, that makes a massive difference to the way that you look at a business. And when you look at a business from those four key functions, quite quickly it becomes apparent where there might be gaps, there may be issues, there may be opportunities. And when you then talk to a business owner in those terms, you very quickly get to understand what's good and what's bad and what's weak. And they'll tell you quite quickly, yeah. you know, what works and what doesn't work. So MSOF, think of, think I, of it in those I think terms. what I'd like to do with that, mate, is just add something to the end. And this isn't, I can't take credit for this. This comes from uh, Trevor, our, our group MD, Trevor Seamson Platt. And he said he thinks about it in MSOFT and the T at the end. So you've got marketing, sales, operations, finance, and then the T is for team. Because yeah. when you're looking at, especially if you're buying business or, or, or you're in due diligence or you're even running a business, and if you, you know, normally we, we focus on one of these things, but team is absolutely essential. You know, and when you're looking at acquiring a business, you want to know what the team looks like. I watch Guy do this all the time in meetings. He's, he gets his pen out and he puts a pad and he draws a little visual map, like a mind map. So he'll say, tell me about the team. And I think it's time we give Tre Trevor some credit for it. Not, you know, marketing, sales, ops, totally. finance, yeah. and then MSoft. I think we need yeah. to, to, to build that team, up. because Team it's, is everything. Yeah, team is everything. You say it, but we're not put it in the mnemonic. So yeah, no, live on true. camera. Live on camera. Live on camera. We just, we just the mnemonic to MSoft. <laughs> uh, so oh, all the videos we've done that. previously. Yeah, yeah, add yeah. Them on, add them on. yeah and, and if you like what we talked about do the usual thing like it share it etc make, make some comments but there is a video all about team as well so just below here wherever the bit is tick on those boxes but um, but do watch the video about team as well so we talk about that in more detail and, and, and I think the uh, crucial importance yeah of that. I think if we're, if we're just about to finish this I think yeah, when you're looking at all these all these areas these four or five areas I think it was uh, uh, I think it was Einstein that said the quality of your questions determine the quality of your life and in this context the quality of your questions you ask in each area 
of the marketing questions, sales questions, and the elicitation of the business owners that you're buying from. I think, yeah. I think yeah. that that you know that is that is almost as good as as all the other things. So the yeah. questions on to, on top of them. Would you agree with that? A hundred percent. And, and yeah. the more you dig, it's like peeling back the layers of the onion. Uh, yeah. and, and I should mention, of course, MSoft sounds very straightforward, but. There's huge amounts of detail underneath each one of those titles. Marketing is a, a very, very in-depth subject in its own right. The skills, the techniques for sales and efficient sales and scaling up a business around sales, that's a massive topic. Operations, that can include uh, logistics, it can include distribution, there's a whole bunch of things there. And of course these days online as well. Uh, and, as, and finance, well, finance is an in-depth subject as well. So I'm not saying that it's, oh, it's simple, it's just four letters no, or no. five letters, but it is important to stress that's the start point for everything. And I, I think when you start this, because for me, above all these things, in my mind anyway, because I'm a behaviorist, above all them things is, is how you think about things, thinking in the right way, putting yourself in the right frame of mind or the right mental state to ask these questions. Yeah. Even like, you know, uh, what is it they say when you, uh, uh, when you act, act as if, that's what it is, isn't it? So you act like you're a professional mm -hmm. acquirer of businesses, yeah. you put that persona out, and I think that's yeah. almost, if not more important than all the other things. I think. Yeah, and it's, I call it stepping into the shoes of. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, do an imaginary exercise of mm -hmm. you're stepping through the door of that company on day one, what are you stepping into? Yeah. You know, what, what are you acquiring, and what does that look like? What, what's the shape of it? So... That's the way that I think about it as well. We Definitely, could, we could do this all day. We could do it all day, but we, we don't have a G and T to no, we don't. finish off so the episode. Say, so. Cheers! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, until the next one. So, hope you enjoyed. Remember, that. remember, like, share, give us some questions. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And we'll see you on the next one.